It's long been the holy grail of sustainable transport. How to electrify heavy goods vehicles. Now a new generation of superchargers in development will offer a solution with a charging power of up to a million watts. I mean, we're talking about emission-free transport. The CO2 emission in, uh, in the world today, we're actually about 5% of everything we're coming from these uh, heavy vehicles, and uh, we need to eliminate that. And, and the good thing is the technology is there. The, the truck manufacturers are having the products available. The charging is there. We need to build up the infrastructure. So we just, we just have to make it happen. The chargers will serve an increasing number of electric trucks and lorries already operating on Europe's road freight routes. The products that are today available right out of production, they are two axle, three axle trucks up to 20, 29 tons. And on one full charge, you can drive up to 250 kilometers in all conditions. Then we have already launched at this year's truck show at the EAO in Hannover, the next generation, which is a regional tractor unit, so a typical 4x2 pulling a semi-trailer, what Europe is full of. And these trucks, uh, with the battery packs included, will take you all the way up to 350 kilometers and, and basically be enough to drive the four, four and a half hour that you're allowed before you need to rest. ABB and Scania are both part of the CEO Alliance, a group of technology leaders collaborating to reach a more sustainable future. We're making a huge transformation and to collaborate is to accelerate. This could have happened, anyone working, everyone working by themselves, but it would have taken 10 times longer time. So I think th this is the main thing, that we're helping each other to together do the transformation, be more competitive and come faster to target. I, you know, it's always fun to uh, uh, push the boundaries. And uh, one megawatt is uh, quite a lot of power. There's a lot of things, you know, it needs to be a safe system, it needs to be an economic uh, system, and then the quality needs to be perfect, because we cannot afford having these charges not operating in the market. Everything needs to work perfectly. And we need, of course, support from the politicians. And, th and this is now us doing the ask for exactly. once. At least the industry I come from, you're, yeah. you're used to the other way around. Sure. And there are a few things we need. And first of all, of course, we need it to incentivize the shift. Huh? Right. I think that, that is the first thing. Definitely. And also maybe provide financing for operators to set up the system. And in, in certain countries where you don't have the big, big charge point operators, mm -hmm. you might even need to support the market in a different way. No, no you're right. And that, that's what I mean with incentives. And, and and then of course, and I think this is perhaps mm. the biggest challenge, and that is the build out of infrastructure. With the megawatt charging system expected to come to market in 2024 to 25, industry leaders say that support from legislators is now critical in decarbonizing heavy duty transport, leading to a more sustainable transport sector across Europe.